good morning to you and welcome to our Monday morning 19th of April with my set of weekly Facebook lives. Thank you so much for joining me. My name's Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in Brackley, which is in the UK. I hope everybody had a nice weekend. It's certainly um, been beautiful here and another nice morning this morning. So this week I'm featuring a, um, a new to me stamp set. It's called Welcoming Window. And it has stamps and dies to go with it. These are the stamps. You can find this in your January to June catalogue, which is this one here. And it is on page 58 of the catalogue. So, um, it features the stamps, Welcoming Window. The stamps are £20 and they do work entirely on their own. The dies give it um, an extra step, if you like, and step up. But the um, stamps will work entirely on their own as they're um, intended to. Um, sorry, I'm just looking because it's not nothing's coming up on my phone as the fact that we're live so let me just have a look oh that's we are <laughs> do comment if you're watching live <sighs> okay so um we have this set called welcoming window and I've stamped out a few of the images for you already. Um, as you can see, it's all based around a window and flower pots and a, a jug. And then we've got shutters. Um, this could be a number of things, including part of the window box. We've got some really pretty, dainty sets of flowers and some nice sentiments. So welcome, so this would be good for a new home. My sweet friend, sending sunshine for a beautiful birthday. We've got a thank you and hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day. So a really nice combination. Probably one of my favourite stamps in this whole set is this small one with the bricks. Let me show you some of these actually stamped out. So these are the shutters, the window, the pots, and they all have um, an element of um, shading built in for you. So it gives you a watercolour look. Um, and this brick wall just has, um, as you can see here, six bricks, but it's very easy to line them up together to make a... Um, a wall, a very sort of vintage stone old-fashioned wall which is really nice. These are the sentiments that I've stamped out so you can see they stamp really nicely and then these are the flowers so we have two lots of greenery and two different lots of flowers and then you have three different sized pots and a jug that you can use to put those together. Let me just grab a sample of them stacked together for you. So here I've got the vase and here the pot. So today we're just going to do some very simple stamping to get us started for this week. Um, this was just a sample I created yesterday during our um, craft and chat which always takes place on a Sunday and I just did this on some watercolour paper, did a little watercolour wash behind and then just stamp the pots on top. 
So I'm going to do a sort of step up from this and introduce the flowers into this. I was just having a play. This is one of my samples. And what we will do is build up to use the dies during the week um, because the dies feature this lovely um, shutter um, with a cut out window and the two shutters. And there's lots of different things we can do with that. Have great fun with that. But for today, we're just going to do, as I always do on a Monday, some simple stamping. And I do have an offer for you this week. Oh, I just need realised I need a green ink. Um, which is if you buy the bundle from me this week, um, and that is 46 75 for the stamps and the dies, which is a 10% saving, then I will send you out a free card kit so that you can make all of the cards that I'm going to make this week. And that offer runs until um, this weekend, Saturday the 24th. Okay, let me just grab some green ink and I've decided I'm going with Bumblebee for my backing. This is a piece of Whisper White and this is going to be layered up onto one of our note cards and envelopes. And I also have our um, in colour enamel dots which has got the Bumblebee that I'm going to use to decorate. So let me grab a green ink pad for the flowers. I'll use Pear Pizzazz. The other colours I've got, which are actually quite autumnal, is Early Espresso, which I'm going to use for the um, shelf, Bumblebee for the flowers, and Terracotta Tile for the pots. Okay, and then I've just introduced Pear Pizzazz which I'm going to use for the greenery. Okay, so let's bring that one out there. Let me grab a piece of grid paper so I can be stamping off and testing everything. Right, let me just see if I can see who has joined us. I don't know why. It's not showing me. I'm sure. Let me just refresh that and see. So apologies if you're saying good morning <laughs> and I'm not responding and that's because I can't see anybody. Oh, I've got you. I found you all. Morning, Carol, Babsy, Kerry and Jill. Good morning, ladies. So... Um, just straightforward, simple stamping for today. Um, but I'm very excited to show you what else I've got coming up. I might give you a little sneak peek at the end. So I'm going to um, use Early Espresso for my shelf. And I do need some blocks. I also had a tidying up session after my... Um, craft and chat yesterday. Okay, so this is the shelf I'm going to use. Let's start with that. And what I do like about this is all of the stamps have an inbuilt, um, sort of slightly distressed vintage look. Hi Brenda. So I'm just going to stamp it on here so that you can see that. Okay, so it's got this shading already inbuilt to it. And hi Jeanette. So I'm going to have this um, a little bit over to the right, which is unlike me. Normally I tend to put things central. Okay, like so. And then I'm going to stamp the jug and the pots. So let's grab those. Oh, it's lovely to have you join us, Kerry. So there is the jug and I'm going to use, so there's three pots all together. So I might use the large and the, and the small. 
and then I need the flowers so I'm going to use this one here and it's so that's the greenery that is the flowers and then I'll decide on the sentiment shortly right I finished with espresso for the moment I'm going to use that for the um, sentiment though so I'm going to stamp the jug first over here and then pop the others um, up there to the left hand side and I did use Misty Moonlight for my sample. Um, I think I might um, change that up. Oh, hi, Monica. It's one of those stamp sets, Fancy, that would easily be overlooked. Um, I've only, let, yeah, literally bought it um, last week and yet the catalogue's been out for, you know, five months or four months or so um, that's how I'll do it in Misty Moonlight I love that you ladies are saying hello to each other that's so nice okay so just inking up the jug yeah so it's quite pale but I'm not um, unhappy with that could re-ink my um, stamp of course my ink pad rather so just popping that one on there like that and you can see the shading as I say already built into that so it makes you look like a watercolor expert without having to be a watercolor expert Okay, so I'm going to use traditional terracotta tile to make it look like there's terracotta pots in there. Very traditional sort of um, European style pots. So I think I'm going to put the small one on next. so there we go and this would make a great um, new home card we were discussing yesterday in our craft and chat that we have um, very little new home card um, well certainly no new home sentiments per se um, but I think this would make a nice new home card this one here so and I'm just um, dropping it onto the shelf a little bit so it's not sat in mid-air okay right now I'm going to add um, the floral so I'm going to add this in pear pizzazz and then my Flowers are going to be in the bumblebee to match my backing card. Oh, that's okay, Babsy. No need to apologise. And the weather was so nice, to be fair, it seemed a shame to be inside. I mean, I had um, I needed to prep for this week, so I had a great time just designing my cards for this week. And it was nice to catch up with the others who didn't want to be out in the garden. So never apologise for not joining us. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this on top here. Like so. And hopefully you can see there are gaps where the stamp will fill in with the flowers here. And there's two sets of floral and there's two sets of... Um, fill-in stamps and if you look this one fills in there exactly okay so we're doing this one here so I know that the little dots go up on the top right hand side and on this one it's got them um, spread around now the back the gaps are quite big so it does give you a little bit of space to maneuver and put them down without it having to be exact 
Oh, t-shirt top for Babsy. Excellent. Okay, so just going to grab this one. I'm going to shut this one up. So this is my bumblebee. Okay. What I should have done was just stamp this so you could see this going together. Oh, you won't see that, sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp this so you can see it. I'm not sure that's very clean. Let me just clean that off. I probably didn't clean it yesterday, I'm afraid. So just as well I tested it out. Yes, it's definitely got some blue-green in it. Morning, Carol. Okay, let's try that again. I hope you're well, Carol G. Right, so let's try this again. It's slightly muddy, isn't it? Okay, I think I am going to switch this down to Mango Melody or Daffodil Delight just a bit too muddy. Let me have a look. That's better. So this is where having your um, grid paper or some scratch paper can really help. It's still really light, isn't it? Hello, Katie. Oh, no problems, Carol. It'll be fairly short and sweet anyway today. Um, let's try daffodil. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> if not, I might change the backing. I just want to get a, a you know, fairly bright yellow. She's not occurring. That's better. Okay. There we go. So. There's gaps in the foliage here, and so I'm going to place this stamp over those gaps. As I say, it's fairly forgiving, there's a reasonably wide space. There it is, like so. Let's move that over so you can see that a little bit better. Okay, so now I'm going to add a sentiment. And I'm also going to do a little bit of sponging around this to soften the whole effect. So let's add a sentiment. So I'm thinking, um, thinking just a thank you would be nice. go so espresso I'm going to use I do like this sentiment wishing our paths crossed a little more often I just think that's a nice especially these days a nice sentiment but the birthday one is nice too so just inking this in an espresso I hope you can see that ladies and I'm not too far down there we go go okay so all I'm going to do with this is just take a blending brush and as I said last week I'm very excited that <laughs> my blending brushes that I've been waiting for are finally on their way so the ladies that joined me for class and the ladies that kindly lent me brushes so Babsy <laughs> Um, thank you. Um, we'll be getting theirs as soon as I get them here. As soon as I get them here. It's got hair on it, I can see. There we go. 
so all I'm going to do is use my blending brush okay and I just want to go over this area and around it just to sort of soften the whole effect um, now I am going to show you very briefly the brick outline um, because as I say it's almost one of my favorite <laughs> ones in the set um, I'm not going to put it on this card so just using a little bit of the daffodil to light to soften this whole effect you could use um, some dots as well or you could flick some ink on if you're feeling um, that way I could have done this in a blue as well to look like the sky but I just wanted to bring out this yellow as I've got yellow in my backing card yeah it makes it pop but also it just softens it um, yeah and I could have stamped this right off the end and just had one pot obviously it is floating a little bit but I'm happy with that as it is okay so I'm just going to mount that up thank you ladies so I have got a bumblebee layer that I'm going to pop that onto like so so that's just tying in the yellow and a note card that I'm going to layer that onto so let's move that one out of the way so you can see that a little bit better I quite like the empty pots you could add some more greenery I guess on this one but I want this to be the the focus point really and it's sort of in the rule of thirds because it's on the right hand third okay right let's just add a little bit of glue when it comes out so I'm just keeping this as a nice, flat, simple stamped card. Let the stamps do the work for you. And I do like the fact that they do look, um, you know, watercolored and vintage looking. Right, so this is the card and envelope from our card and envelope pack that you'll hear me rave about. So, note card, an envelope, and I think I am going to stamp the vase on the um, jug on the envelope as well. So, just going to fold this over, grab my bone folder, like so, and pop that on there. And I could add a few of the pots on the inside. Like so. so I'm just going to add the jug on the front of the envelope. And we will be done. And let's find it again so I stamped this in misty moonlight and you um, do bear in mind the majority of my inks are very well used so they tend to come out um, lighter than yours probably would <laughs> okay so again I love that shading let's add the greenery sorry i've lost all your comments off my phone i'm not quite sure why that's occurring let me just hop back 
I do apologise. I hate it when this happens because I do like to be able to see what's um, what people are saying in case you've got any questions. So bear with me while I just drag that back up again. There we go. Oh, hi, Chris. Lovely to have you join us, Chris. I don't know whether you catch many of my lives because um, I can't always tell if people haven't, you know, double clicked on the link. So there we go. So I'm going to add this onto there, like so, and then use those um, flowers again. So Daffodil Delight, I ended up with. Third time lucky in terms of my colours, wasn't it? Move those out of the way. And now I'm just going to show you that brick because I think it's stunning. So just positioning that in the gap. So, cheers, Carol. Have a good day, my darling. There we go. And it even has inbuilt shading to those um, flowers. Okay. And why not? Let us add some of our matching dots and just looking for my scissors. Oh, my knife will do. So I can't quite decide. I could actually put them on the flowers, but they're probably a little bit big. So I'm just going to dot three of them around. One. Ah, uh, okay, that's great. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Not that it matters, but it's nice to know. Like so. One, two, three. So that's our finished card. Uh, but what I want to show you is how well and easy it is to use the um, brick. So I'm going to introduce that um, in our cards later. But let me just show you really quickly. Um, I use terracotta tile as it's here. Let me just bring a sheet back. Pop that on there. Let me grab the brick. So I do have an offer, as I say, this week. If you order the bundle from me before the weekend, then I will include or I will send you, because it doesn't matter if you order it online or via email, I'll send you, <coughs> excuse me, the card kit, so you can recreate all the cards that um, we've made. So just to show you how fab this um, brick is, look at that. And then you can add these together really easily, because they sort of lay in together. But it's really easy just to have, for example, bricks around the edge, like so. Now this stamp set is carrying over um, into the new annual catalogue. Bless you. Thank you, ladies. So how easy is that? And obviously you can make it, make it meet all the way up as well. Like so. Who likes that? <laughs> how cute. So easy. And obviously you could, fit, you know, if you wanted to, you could fill the whole thing in. Um, so that is probably my favourite stamp in the whole set. I'm not suggesting you buy the whole set just for a brick stamp. But we don't have, um, uh, we have our brick embossing folder. Um, but we don't have a large um, brick stamp or anything. But that is really easy. And I love the fact that it's all um, vintage and, and broken up. So, you know, it works really really well okay so just as a reminder 
The stamps are £20, the dies are 32 You can buy the bundle at 10% off and um, get a free kit from me. Let me give you a sneak peek to um, one of our cards, if I can find it. So here's more fun with that uh, brick wall. Which one am I going to show you? Oh, I'm going to show you this one here. So this is with the dies. Um, it creates these sh fab shutters, a window. I've used the brick here, as you can see, and it has a little window box as well. And I've just then stamped um, some of the flowers and used the dies to cut them out. And it is as easy as that, absolutely. Okay, so um, thank you everybody for joining me today. As I say, this was our simple stamped card today. I'm going to be stepping it up tomorrow. I'm not going to do the one I've just shown you. have got another one in line for tomorrow. And um, I'm going to have a change of um, details for my weekly Facebook Lives. I'm just going to trial this. So now that things are opening up and I have the ability to go and see my mum, and also I do um, some work on a Friday, thank you ladies, then I am going to change my timings for my Facebook Lives. So I will update the header. So Monday and Wednesday will remain at 10 a.m. Tuesday and Thursday are going to move to 7 p.m. I'm trying that to see whether that suits people better. And then there won't be a Facebook Live on a Friday. But we will have our craft and chat on Sunday afternoon. So I hope that works well for you. Obviously, do feedback um, how that would affect you, whether that's better for you or whatever. And we'll give that a go. So thank you, everybody. Um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, Tuesday. And we'll be live at 7 p.m. Thanks everybody. Do take care. Any questions, just comment or message me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Take care. Look after yourselves and your loved ones. And do keep crafting if you can. <laughs> Bye for now.